This is Matthew chapter 11 and verse 28. And it reads, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, verse 29, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, verse 30, and my burden is light. Double honors are going out to the venerable apostles of the great millstone, along with the elders who rule and teach, Yasharala will. Salutations, peace and blessings be unto the Ba'afta Wada, that is the house of David, the elect, beginning with his servants, the prophets, the men of the Lord who are out laboring on the four corners of the earth, proclaiming the good news of the gospel of the kingdom of Yahweh, Basham Yahusha, on down to all those among the Asherala who have believed our report. I'm Shamar Moth, back with a quick video. All right, going into, you know, how now more than ever, all right, if you're an Israelite, all right, if you're a Hebrew Israelite, a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American Indian, or you're an Israelite foreigner, a speckled bird, you need to come unto the Lord, man. You need to come to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai because the doors of mercy are getting ready to slam shut on you, man. All right? And the Lord, all right, in Second Peter's the third chapter and the ninth verse, he said that, you know, uh, uh, he's long-suffering to usward, meaning uh, uh, you Israelites, man, the elect of you. You know, not willing that any should perish, you know, roughly paraphrasing, but uh, that all should come to repentance. OK, and the elect will come. All right. To you, how about you? The elect will repent. All right. So, yeah, now more than ever, man. OK, as you see, all right, the 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 state of the world, man, I mean, it's, you know, it's crazy out here and it's only going to get worse. OK. Yeah. We like broken records. All right. We say the same things over and over and over again. All right. But look at what's going on. World War Three news. OK. Now you got Turkey. All right. Gomer. All right. You know, uh, uh, teaming up with Iran. All right. Persia. OK. Bombing uh, uh, U.S. Uh, 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 forces in Syria. OK. And their allies in Iraq as well. Okay, green lighted uh, uh, by Russia, aka Gog and Magog. You got uh, pestilences, you got earthquakes, I mean, major earthquakes, you know, happening throughout the four corners. Yahweh Shai said there would be earthquakes in diverse places. You know, these earthquakes are a major end times uh, 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 indicator, man. You know, then you got, again, you got the pestilences, you got the economic woes coming to Babylon. So, you know, now more than ever, you know, it's time to come to the Lord, man. And these verses in Matthew's, the 11th chapter are, are near and dear to my heart, man, or my mind. You know, these, these, these are comforting scriptures, man. I'm going to read it again in Matthew's, the 11th chapter and the 28th verse. It says, come unto me. This is Yahweh I speaking. All right. All ye that labor and are heavy laden and who's laboring and heavy laden in this earth, man, you Israelites, man. Okay. And the promise is, he says, and what? It says, and I will give you rest. And we have rest in the spirit, man. You know, not a physical rest right now. You know, being subject to payments. Okay, being in this Babylonian captivity, but rest in the spirit. Okay, we rest in Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. We rest in this wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Okay, verse 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. See? All right. When you when you when you take his yoke upon you and you learn of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, all right, you're gonna uh find rest for your soul, man. All right, why? Verse 30 says, my, for my yoke is easy, slacky, and my burden is light. Right, man. You know, another place in the scriptures, first Peter's the fifth chapter, and I believe the seventh verse. It says, Casting all your care on him, for he careth for you. Okay. So yeah, man, he he he'll he'll uh 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 He'll lighten your load, man, you know, spiritually speaking. All right. Come on to the Lord, you know, while you still can, you know. Um, Isaiah 55, this is milk. And Isaiah the 55th chapter. All right. And I'm, um, 
I'm going to start in, let's see. Yeah, I'll start in, in verse um, 6, okay? Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. And it reads, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Right. It says, Seek him while he may be found. Why does it say that? Because there's coming a day where you're not going to be able to find Yahweh Basim Yahweh Why? Because this truth is not going to be accessible. You're not going to be able to listen to these lessons. You're not going to be able to see brothers preaching on the highways and hedges, preaching the truth of the scriptures, okay? You're not going to be able to find truth, all right? Because Amos, the eighth chapter and verses 11 through 13 have to be fulfilled, okay? You're already seeing a mass uh, censorship push by Amalek, all right? The, the, the small hats, the 1948ers, all right? The chief tribe of Edom, OK, they're about to uh, hit that Internet kill switch, so to speak. So you got to seek the Lord while he may be found and call upon him while he is near. OK, it says, verse seven, let the wicked forsake his way. And this is the wicked Israelite. All right. And the unrighteous man, his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh, and he will have mercy upon him and to our power, Yahweh, for he will abundantly pardon. Right. This is, this is all about, this is all for Israel, man. Repentance, okay? All right, you, you can't return to someone, to something, it's like you, you were never a part of. Okay, so the only people who can return to the Lord, who can turn back to the Lord, are his people, man. His chosen, his elect, all right? Speaking about repentance only being for Israel, and this wasn't in my notes, but I might as well get it, all right? Um, this is, I'm going to get right to the point in Acts, the fifth chapter in, the verse, in verse 31. Okay. It says him hath the most high power, Yahweh exalted, talking about Yahweh Shai with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. All right. So repentance, turning back. All right. Converting. That's only for the Israelites, man. And on this side, only for the elect of Yahshua Rabbah. All right. Yeah, man, you got to come to the Lord. Come to the Lord, man. All right. Verse eight in Isaiah, the 55th chapter. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways. My ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways. Verse nine, higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Yeah, he's far above us, man. You know. But he's given us his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He's given us everything we need to know, okay, through the Holy Bible and by sending Rakar Kodash to us, man, the Holy Spirit. All right. I guess that's it on that. Um, again, this is a real quick lesson. You know, just something that was on my spirit, you know, about coming to the Lord. You know? And hey, yeah, he's, and, and again, the, the wicked of our nation, all right, they're not going to, just just like they didn't do it when Yahweh Shai was on the scene 2,000 years ago, they're not going to do it now, man. Like these these wayward camp leaders, you know, these these these, these so-called elders who are leading these uh, uh these these bug outs, like the IUIC, okay, and uh, uh, the ISUPK, the, uh, the HOI, you know, these men are off, okay? These men are off. Now, that's not saying there aren't sincere men and women all right, in associated or affiliated with these camps, but the leadership is off, man. OK, you got false prophets, not everyone. All right. Preaching. OK, not every Israelite out there preaching and teaching. All right. Is 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 uh, uh, bringing out the 100 percent truth of the scriptures. OK, the only men who are doing that are the apostles, first and foremost, of the great millstone, the Zaquans or elders and bishops, all right, and the men out there on the highways and hedges, all right, and the men of like mind, like the men of valor in the DTA, all right? There's a lot of camps out there that are way off, man. The GOCC is another one. They're off. Ronald Dalton Jr., he's off, okay? 
yeah, the the the, the, the wicked scribes and Pharisees of Yahweh Shah's time didn't want to have anything to do with them. And then the wicked scribes and Pharisees that are on the scene today, and they're back in the reincarnation, all right? They don't want to have anything to do with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. All right? Matter of fact, that's John. Hold on, let's get that. In uh John the fifth chapter. All right. Yeah, this is John the fifth chapter. And uh let's see. The the point is in verse 40, but I'm gonna start up. Yeah, it's time to come to the Lord, man. You know, it's time to come to the Lord. All right. Repent and believe this gospel, the gospel of the kingdom of heaven. All right. This is, uh, I'm going to start in. Verse 31. Again, this is Yahweh addressing. All right. Those wicked Jews. All right. Those wicked Israelites. All right. Who, 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 uh, uh, uh would not come to him. Okay. Primarily of the southern kingdom, right? When you see Jew, all right, that's talking about the southern kingdom, all right, because by and large the northern kingdom was already gone from the land. All right. So you had Judah. You had basically it was the kingdom of Judah still there. All right. The kingdom of Judah. Judah, Levi, and Benjamin. All right. This is um John the fifth chapter and the thirty first verse. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. This is how I was speaking. There is another that beareth witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesseth of me is true. Ye sent unto John, and he bear witness unto the truth. I mean, you got you got camp heads in, in Yahshua that think John the Baptist wasn't in the truth, man. I mean, complete and utter madness. All right. It says, but I receive not testimony from man, verse 34, but these things I say that ye might be saved. He was a burning and a shining light, and ye were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. But I have a greater witness than that of John, verse 36. For the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do bear witness of me that the Father has sent me. And that's that's uh, uh you know that uh, uh is 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 true of the men of the Lord, you know. You can look at the men of the Lord and look at their works. And Lord willing, I'm a part of that number. Look at the works. Okay. The works bear witness that Yahweh Basham Yahshai sent men. Okay. To, 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 to preach this gospel, man. He set up certain men. Okay. To, to, to shine this light. All right. Look at the works, man. Some of the biggest scoffers and mockers on the comment board. You click on their avatars. You go to their pages. They got no works. They ain't out teaching. They ain't out in sackcloth, you know, bringing out the truth of the Bible. All right. Uh, enduring, fight, battling uh, scoffers and mockers, uh, uh, battling the elements, battling the authorities. You know? Yeah, the, the, the men of the Lord are going to have works, man. All right. And, and, and the scriptures talks about how the works are going to follow the men of the Lord. All right. Let me read this verse again in John, the fifth chapter, and the 36th verse. It says, But I have greater witness than that of John, for the works which the Father hath given me to finish, the same works that I do bear witness of me that the Father has sent me. That's right, man. Verse 37, And the Father himself, which has sent me, hath borne witness of me. Ye have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his shape. <laughs> and the scripture says in John, the 10th chapter, you know, through, through, through Yahweh Shai, all right, that, his sheep hear his voice, all right? And he knows them and they follow and they follow him, man. All right? If you can't hear this, it's because you're not uh, one of the elect lambs, period. All right? It says in verse 38, and ye, have, and ye have not his word abiding in you, for whom he has sent him ye believe not. Search the scriptures, verse 39, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And ye will not come to me, verse 40, and this is the point, that ye might have life. That's right. There's certain men, okay, not the Lord ain't dealing with all of Yasharala. 
I mean, you got camps out here thinking that the Lord is with the whole nation right now. And that's completely false, man. You know, pursuant to uh, uh, Romans, the 11th chapter and the 7th verse. All right. Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it and the rest were blinded. Two thirds of Israel is blind right now. OK, two thirds of Israel is unbelieving. Two thirds of Israel is adulterous. Two thirds of Israel are fornicating, man, worshiping idols. But what's coming up tomorrow? Are you going to have the two thirds out here uh, uh, fucking uh, celebrating Thanksgiving, man? You know, they're not going to come. All right. It says in verse 40 again, and ye will not come to me that ye might have life. That's right. So the Lord ain't dealing with all Israel right now. Eventually, all Israel is going to be saved when the kingdom of heaven is established. All right. And the two thirds are going to be born again. All right. Through the loins of the elect men and be in their right frame of mind, having the law, such commandments burn in their inward parts. OK. After the judgment, after the second death. All right. All right. I touched on second Peter's the third chapter you know talking about how the Lord is long suffering man he hey the Lord is long suffering that word long suffering goes back to uh you know uh, uh, uh you know being patient man okay extremely patient okay um let's end it up with Sirach. uh chapter 24 Sirach or Ecclesiasticus all right, Sirach or Ecclesiastes chapter 24 and verse 19, getting right to the point. And it reads, come unto me, all ye that be desirous of me and fill yourselves with my fruits. That's right. You can lead a, a, a fulfilling life here in Babylon through the spirit, man. All right. Through the spirit. When you come to Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, come unto the Lord quickly, quickly. Because again, the doors of mercy are getting ready to slam shut on you. Lord willing, Adawan Ratazat, you were edified by this quick lesson. And with that, I want to say Shalom.